The AB 3121 task force meeting is now called to order. This task force is designed to examine the harms associated with the enslavement of black people, African Americans in this country, as well as the legacy of the harms of enslavement from uh, Reconstruction, post-Reconstruction, um, Jim Crow, all the way to the present. So thank you for coming to be a part of history, but also to be a part of a great purposeful movement of reparations for the sons and daughters of Africa. So people say, well, California wasn't a slave state, and you know, California had nothing to do with enslavement and a lot of the post-enslavement. I would say look at our first report. Go to that report and have your eyes wide open to the realities of California's collusion with slave uh, practices in this country, policies in this country, structural racism in this country. Um, and in fact, people who were enslaved in the South could be brought here by their enslaver, and California would make sure that they stayed enslaved in this country. My family still owns the land where my enslaved ancestors are buried. I first saw my enslaved ancestors worn headstone with my own eyes at 14 or 16. Task Force members, please work with the federal government to reestablish the Freedmen's Bureau, to handle reparations claims and payments, and create a reparations super fund. Reparations is a debt owed. And as a person who is descendant of American chattel slavery, we have not been paid our debt. Everyone has received reparations, even former slave owners. And so it's actually time for us to receive our reparations. This is my great-great-grandfather, Monday Cryer. Usually slaves were named after the day of the week that they were born and his wife Harriet. My great-great-grandfather, born in 1810. He was formerly enslaved in Mississippi. Uh, and the records say that he was actually born in Louisiana. From a legal standpoint, um, reparations in the U.S. always looks like a cash payment and policy change. So if you go through and look at um, other uh, cultures who've received reparations, that's what they get. And I think that's what California should also consider is um, policy change and cash payments. That it's not a matter of if reparations should be implemented, but really it should be how. And it's not even a matter of when, because it should have been yesterday. He came in first to Master Paul Muhammad and raised his own message to the glorious, most honorable Elijah Muhammad. We know you all have a job, but we have young people with these shirts that say black reparations, and they are going to places that maybe you will not be able to. That's inclined to annex slaves to the lands as a child. Slaves were then deemed 